All right, hey, it's Rob, and I am celebrating 9,000 miles of happy motoring in my 2022 Ford Maverick XLT EcoBoost 2.0 in iconic silver. You might have heard my cat in the background there. He's excited about it, too. Anyway, uh, if you're wondering about these crazy uh, images that are accompanying this video. This was shot on a 360 camera on a giant pole sticking out of the front of my truck. It's the Insta 361 X2. That makes all these cool looking shots. Anyway, so, uh, you know, I go on Facebook and I see all the stories about dead hybrid Mavericks and Boy, for a long time I was on the fence or I thought maybe I'll still look for a hybrid after I got this. I've had it all year since January. I thought really the hybrid's the one to get with all that great gas mileage and whatever, but all that great gas mileage doesn't do you a lot of good <laughs> if the car never moves. So uh, I know they have problems that can easily be fixed and they're working on it, etc. But uh, my little EcoBoost just keeps on trucking. Uh, this won't be that exciting of a review because I really don't have much to say that I haven't said in the past. <clears throat> I don't really have any complaints about the things people complain about in these trucks. The paint is fine. I don't feel like the interior is getting all scratched up or anything like that. Uh, my only complaint is still the same one that I've had since the beginning, which is the auto brake hold feature is weird and I like using it when I'm stopped at a stoplight, but I just hate it when it's on otherwise because it clamps down on the brakes if I'm in reverse and I forget to turn that feature off, etc. Um, <clears throat> I don't even mind the auto start stop, which I think is very gentle. I had a Volvo and compared to the Volvo even, uh, this is really smooth. I don't mind it at all. My wife will turn it off just because she doesn't want the air conditioning to <laughs> shut down at a traffic light. But uh, other than that, um, still very happy with the way it drives. It's still quick. I'm still up around uh, 28, 29 miles per gallon, even pushing past 30 when uh, doing a long freeway drive. Uh, those are the review points that I can think of. Uh, like I said, really nothing has gone wrong. Nothing has been of concern. No warning lights, no nothing. Yeah, the stereo isn't great. I'm getting up the courage to pull the door panel off probably and change out those six and a half inch speakers at some point, which the truck maybe is a little older and I don't mind scratching it up or breaking a couple of clips in the process or whatever. Um, I am still shocked and very surprised by how few Mavericks I see out on the road. There's one guy with a Maverick. Uh, he's got the uh, four-wheel drive version. I think this is a Lariat down the road for me, but uh, I don't see them at all. I'll go a couple months and won't see a single Maverick out on the road. Uh, I am just still amazed that they just are continuing to have all these issues with putting these trucks together and getting the parts for them uh you know i would think by now it would have been sorted out i thought well maybe i had a couple months of novelty with this truck when uh i was the only one on the block that had one but uh that situation just seems to continue to this day and uh yeah i just don't see them out there and i know the order bank is opening soon it'll be coming up uh, this week september 15th and uh, when that does people will have to get in line all over again to start looking for these trucks so uh i know i ordered one in december before i bought mine and i got a few emails and finally got the one that said yeah forget it we're, we're never going to be able to build this truck at all so i'm glad i found one at a dealership and picked it up because otherwise i wouldn't be making this video and i still would not have one so uh other than those things which are not a concern for me because i already got mine <laughs> yeah i don't have much else to uh report at the present time I had one oil change other than that Hasn't been in the shop. I think they rotated the tires, and uh, that's about as much as I have to report. 
on my 2022 Ford Maverick XLT. All right, pulling into the driveway. Thanks as always for watching, and I will continue to generate content on my cool little truck when I can think of something else to do. Later.